What is up guys? Welcome to a quick review of the brand new nifty knitting stuff pack. This is provided by EA Game Changers. So just be wary of that. The code was provided to me for free, but what we're doing today is we're just gonna be looking at the build and buy, and we're also gonna be looking at the create a sim new items. There's a lot of cool things about this pack that won't be discussed in this video because I'm just gonna do a quick overview here, but a few of the cool things are in it. They added a like Etsy, like mode so you can start selling items in the market there's also a lot of craftable items which we won't be getting to today and there was additional content such as uh the nifting skill the the nifting skill perfect right why can't they just have normal names like <laughs> i was i was thinking about this uh how they have get to work why can't they get like get to get to knitting or something like give us something a little easier kind of make it all coherent here but they have uh they added the knitting skill you can prepare to rock. They added some rockers, which have cool new animations. And you can uh, now shop online and buy new knitting material, which is kind of like an Etsy idea. So let's hop on into this. I will probably look at this stuff pack a lot more in a uh, in another playthrough. I have a playthrough where I'm currently in college. So that playthrough, I'll probably end up doing some of the knitting to kind of experience it. So if you want to see more, you can go to my university's playthrough. No, thanks. Let me just have a sim here. All right, so let's see what we get new with the knitting pack. We're going to go down to this this content uh, packs. I It's been a while since I've done a pack review. I took a quite a break from uh, from Sims for a while, so we're just going to look at these items. Oh, wait, these are actually really cute. I really like these. We can't get them now, but they're going to be items that we can purchase. So the fun part is that they're kind of sweater, which is fun. I like a nice sweater. It's nice. It's nice. And then some cute tops and stuff. Let's look at the other items for women and then we'll go over to the men items and see if there's anything else cool there. But I really like packs like this. When it comes to stuff packs in general, I dislike them. And it's because I like live gameplay in most cases. So when they just add a pack, uh, I'm usually not a fan. And that's that's been a reoccurring issue with me. Uh, I'm not a fan of having these individual stuff packs where I just get a couple items and that's it. Uh, for example, uh, I'm just trying to think of which my, my first pet pack. Don't even get me started. All right. Don't even get me started. Laundry day was actually a really cool pack because it added a lot of live gameplay to the game. I loved laundry day because of that reason. When it came to laundry day, it added a brand new mechanism to your live gameplay. And as a mostly live simmer, I mostly only do live gameplay. I don't do a lot of building. Uh, laundry day was a cool one because they added all those items, uh, toddlers. Let's not talk about it. Fitness, they just reskinned fitness items and threw in a rock wall. Wasn't a fan. Bowling night, I hated the bowling skill. Vintage Glamour, I actually really like the pack. Backyard, uh, uh, kids room, mm, romance. Mm, 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 mm. This one, Perfect Patty was pretty good. I might, you know what? I think I'm, I'm trying to think of like, I think I might do a video where I rank all these, but let's keep going and just look if there's any other items to kind of go in. It is only a stuff pack, but so there's not a lot of new stuff, but oh, that's cute. Those are fun. That's fun. I'll, I'll wear the, do the different colors look different? No, but it's cute. I like it a lot. It's nice. Let's see if there's any other items that came with the, uh, the nifty, the nifty knitting. We got some new socks, of course, so you can knit yourself some sockies. I like it. A little, a nice little sock. Let's see if there's anything here in the uh, in this pack. Ooh, cute. I I'm a fan. Are those those socks inside or outside the boots? Can't tell. I like that though. It's a cute little outfit, man. I I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Let's hop over into the the guy stuff and see what the guys got. So we got a couple new sweaters. Is this a uh, a new little jacket there? I like it, man. It looks cozy. I uh, I never was much of a sweater wearer. It just it was never my forte. There's a few. Uh, I, I remember for a short period of time, I tried rocking the the sweater scarf combo, and then I see pictures from that. I don't know two three month period, and I cringe very hard because I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I, I'm not sure why I thought I looked good in a sweater and a scarf, but uh, <clears throat> it was questionable at best. Let me tell you, it was. It, it, it wasn't a good look. It was not a good look. We'll just throw some shoes on. Cool. I'm, I'm assuming we probably didn't get any haircuts or anything. That would be... I don't think that's very nifty knitting. Maybe we got a cap, though. We probably got a... Wait! Hold up. That's sick. Okay, wait. We did get hair. 
And I really like the hair. I'm actually a huge fan. I like this a lot. Actually, that's really... I like it a lot. I hate the beard. Hold up. I really like the, the knitting stuff. The, you, we're actually getting a lot of items. I wonder how many items in total we got. I don't know, man. I like the items, though. I'm assuming we got some new caps with it. It would only make sense. Yeah, just a nice little knitted cap. Alright, let's keep going. So, nice. I'm assuming... Which would be... Whoa! We even got a lifetime wish? This is actually... Kind of sick. For what a, uh, what a stuff pack usually gives us... I really am impressed as of now. I uh, I heard a hit or miss from other content creators. I saw a lot of people make funny titles, but that's interesting. So, The Sims has yarn running through their his veins, and will stop at nothing on his quest to craft. And then, obviously, Amuser is the uh, is it? Uh, I'm assuming no new skills, but I don't know. Maybe they're maybe they're going a little wild here. Okay, let's hop on in. I'm going to just grab some things here and kind of see what the uh, nifty knitting. Perfect. He might even show up in my... Wait, I hit new game. Maybe he won't. He won't show up in my new my playthrough, but that's probably a good thing. We don't want him showing up in my, uh, my playthrough. So for I'm I'm reading currently, ready? For the knitting thing, you can study the category on your hobbies and skills and start building knitting. The beginner's yarn basket sells for 55, super stash yarn basket 75. There's a bunch of different projects then you can teach to knit. So you can teach your kids how to knit. That's cute. Actually, I'll uh, I'll go through these with you as I just open up the uh, build by here and see what the items look like. What the heck is Oh my gosh, I haven't even, I've never even noticed that, that they gave a little, oh, well, shows how much I've been paying attention to, they've been updating this game a lot recently. So it's actually a level 1 through 10 skill, which I'm kind of impressed with, so a lot of the skills in this game aren't 1 through 10, uh, a lot of the newer skills that is. Uh, Vampires was actually up to 15, Bowling was up to 5, uh, there was a hidden skill ladder for the rock wall. There's a few other things there, but level one, you can knit <laughs> bears and tiger beanies. Let's go here. Wow. I didn't, I didn't think that evil would make him spawn in with an evil laugh. <laughs> oh, cute. There's a knitting room. Let's buy the room and look at it. So there's a pre-made knitting room. Let's look at this bad boy and see what those items are there. So those are the rockers, of course. So the rocker is one of the big things that they're highlighting. That's supposedly a new rocking interaction. Not too many new items here. For a stuff pack, though, this is actually a lot. So what's it? One, two, three, four. Twenty-one new items. Let's just look at that. So we have twenty-one items there. Let's see what the other packs had. Well, Tiny Living had a lot. Jeez. Uh, around twenty. Okay. Wait. So. Wait, my first pet stuff had more items than the... <laughs> yeah, like, toddler pack didn't have that many. Fitness had about the same. Bowling, eh. Backyard had about a nice chunk. So I guess it's actually towards the lower end of stuff packs. The Romantic Garden only had, uh, like, 20 items, but it had this well, which was really big. Yeah, so it doesn't look... It looks like the amount of items are pretty much up to par on the other stuff packs. You're getting about what you pay for with this. Then when we come over here, we can, of course, start knitting. And then the rocking chair. Let's go see that animation. So this is a brand new animation, which I am a fan of new animations, man. Let's see what this is like. Show it, Misty, Mr. Nifty Knitting. Gets a happiness perk. That's cute, man. That's awesome. So I'm going to kind of play through it and see how I'm feeling about it over the next couple days. And we'll check it out in our other playthrough and see if I like it or not, how I feel about the pack. And I'll give a kind of updated video, I think, on my overall opinions after playing it for a little while. What we have here is knit for five hours, start a knitting project. 
achieve level four knitting knit while listening to music sell a knitted this is actually really cute man this is a cute set of oh wait oh and i forgot they made a guest appearance of yarny sims will gain will uh with this trait gain enhanced benefits to teach other sims how to knit sims are also immune to the magic the foul magic of sweater curse and can spell afflicted sims from its snarly grasp lastly sims have the ability to craft unique items like a very special companion from a stranger land or the forbidden sweater which honestly is forbidden for a reason we'll have to see what that is but for now guys that is my very quick 10 minute overview over the next few days i'm going to test out a little bit more and see what i think and where I'm going to kind of go from there. I really appreciate your viewership and support. If you guys enjoyed this, you'll probably also love my other series I have going on. We have a series. We have a university series that you'll probably really like. And we also have a additional series that we just finished going over the eco living pack where we did a 22 episode series and it goes through all of eco living and it was a lot of fun. So if you guys want to support me, please consider looking down below and hit that spicy subscribe button. Also like comment, do all that stuff and I will catch you all next episode. Thanks so much for watching.